Hi there, Fred, FR5ED, and that's a silent five, here with a uh, beer review from Craft Beer Adventures, as I'm reviewing Terrapin Rye Pale Ale. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, this is nine months old. Um, I picked a six pack of this up, I think it was, I forget when it was, I think it was uh, back in uh, May, and it was already it was November 26, 2016. Yep, that's what it says. November 26, 2016. And this is August the 26th. Oh, wow, the 26th. Isn't that interesting? So it's exactly to the day, nine months old. For a pale ale, an American pale ale or IPA, that is sacrilege to let it sit that long because the hop aroma um, is going to suffer tremendously, and the hop flavor can also suffer. That being said, we're going to go ahead and review it, and I'll try to remember how it was when I had it back in May, and which was already a few months old, and how it is now. So, any thoughts of this being a brief beer review? Have uh, th th that ship has sailed? All right, so let's pour this. I'm using one of my B cup plastic IPA glasses. Um, and that's because it's a great uh, shatterproof, destroy-proof glass to enjoy an IPA in if you're going to be in a rough environment. I'm here in my studio, not exactly a rough environment, but I did have a beer from my tap earlier uh, out in the garage when I was roasting some coffee and uh, didn't want to, you know, mess up another glass, so I figured I'd use this one. All right, this one. This is uh, Terrapin's rye, uh, rye Pale Ale. It's a very well-known one. It's one of their staples. On Beer Advocate, it rates an 86 out of 100, and that's after 1,812 ratings. The brothers rated at 81. As you may know, I'm not using rate beer anymore because they got bought out by the big boys. So they're, they're off my radar. They're gone. They're dead to me. Okay. Uh, so I'm using Untapped as my second source. In fact, I think I mentioned I'm using Untapped to uh, uh, do my, you know, jotting my things. I used to use Beer Buddy, but that was tied into Rate Beer. Bam! Dead to me. So anyway, on Untapped, uh, it rates a three and a half out of five, um, and that's after 37,000 plus unique reviews or, uh, yep, unique uh, reviews. So. Um, that's what you have commercially speaking, as, or not commercially speaking, but rating online. Uh, I will go ahead and read a quick, um, okay, forget the word quick. I'll read the commercial description. By using an exact amount of rye, an exact amount, can you tell us how much, what percent of the grain bill was it? I don't know. A grain seldom found in other micro-brewed beers, except all those rye IPAs and pale ales out there. The rye pale ale acquires its signature taste, period. Okay, I, I missed the flow of that sentence because of all my interruptions. Made with five varieties of hops and a generous amount of specialty malts, it offers complex flavor and aroma that is both aggressive and well-balanced, a rare finding among beers. Oh, the spin. The Terrapin, the, the Terrapin Rye Pale Ale was released in Athens, Georgia in April of 2002. Anyway, it goes on and on. It's truly one of the best pale, pale ales in the country. All right, all that being said, I know I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this uh, when I was having it uh, on uh, Memorial Day, waiting around in the pool of one of my best friends, as we do every year on Memorial Day. And I always like to reach for something a little not too high in ABV, since we're gonna wait around in the pool and, and, and drink several. It's 5.5% ABV. So that being said, it's clear, just ever so slightly hazy. Um, it's about the right color. You just need a little bit more light coming through there because on the SRM scale, my trusty uh, color scale, I'm saying it's coming in around eight to nine. All right. So on the SRM, boy, that's going to be hard to demonstrate here. Yes, it is. You need it up against a white background. Sorry about that, guys. I need to do that someday. I need to put this against a white piece of paper and hold it up, and you guys can see what I'm seeing. Someday, I'll have your people talk to my people. The uh, the head was there a moment ago. I don't know where it went. Somebody's been talking. Got some lacing going on there. You know what? The aroma is good. You get a good blend of that uh, spicy malt. You know, you're getting a 
a, a noticeable malt aroma, uh, often in uh, pale ales and especially American IPAs, it's all about the hop aroma that hides the malt aroma. Here, again, maybe there's some hop aroma that's not around anymore because of the age. But I'm getting a good malt aroma there, and I like that. And there's just that little bit of spiciness to the aroma. And at the same time, getting some melon from the hops. Some citrus, but it's mostly melon. I didn't see it. Well, they've got five varieties of hops, but they didn't mention what they were. I'm going to taste it now. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. I can tell, first of all, I get a, it's a little astringent, and I don't remember it being astringent before. It tastes like a lemon lollipop, and I've used that analogy a lot, and I don't mean it's sweet at all. In fact, it's pretty dry. Touch of sweetness, but mostly dry, but it is that pleasant lemony, lemony lollipop uh, flavor in there. But I know when I had this, when it was a little fresher, there was definitely more hop aroma and there was more hop flavor too, even though that lemon is probably coming from the hops. It's not as complex as it was, but I'll tell you what, that is still quite tasty after nine months. I just, I don't recognize that astringency that was there before. You know, that little bit of, leaves my tongue feeling a little less slickery than it was. Anyway, I'll tell you what, that's one, that's a good go-to pale ale uh, that I will grab again next time I need to grab, you know, a six pack of something to uh, spend the day with and not get overindulged or overserved, as I call it. And that is Terrapin's Rye Pale Ale. They're from Athens, Georgia. That's the beer. This is Fred of our 5ED over and out.